Welcome to Sixth Sense and Beyond. I'm your host, Christina Andrianopoulos. And I'm your host, Catherine Glass, bringing the spiritual world to the world. Yes, and we have a really exciting show again today. Always. Yes, absolutely. In fact, you have this on-air reading with several young ladies, women. That's right. And, and what was wonderful about this is they just wanted to know what was happening with their career, and their job and right, all that. Right, they were all connected at the same company. Right. right. And that was great because people can just come to you if they just want some answers too. Mm -hmm. Right, that's great. And so you'll see that. Also, we have a special uh, day uh, segment today because we're going to talk about someone who contacted me internationally from Wales and sent us these very special tarot cards and this book and we'll talk about yes. that as well. And and Catherine, you're you're going to do a little uh, tarot card reading yes, on me. Yes, we're yes? going to play, sure. Uh, sure. Uh, and, and also talk about the, the cards. And then we'll do some psychic tips yep. before be we close. Show. So it is going to be a great show. But you know what? We have to thank all our sponsors and it's Julio's mm -hmm. Spirit meets spirit here on, in <laughs> Westboro, where I know it's just great. I love it. Spirit meets meets spirit, and he has a radio program every Saturday morning, um, from ten to twelve on WCRN. So mm -hmm. it's great to watch because it's called the Liquors Talking. Oh my god! I know it's great. You just learn all about different <laughs> dr cocktails, drinks, wines, cool, whatever, and all that. Whatever gets you excited. I know that's great. And of yeah. course, Christian Ray, thank you so much for making us all look like celebrities. And oh medical aesthetics right up in your neck of the woods that's too. That's right, medical yeah. aesthetics and the Healing Essence Center that's in our true. neck of the woods of Concord and medical uh, aesthetics is in Acton. Yes, yeah. absolutely great. Okay, so let's just get right into the show, all right? Okay, okay so, so tell, us, tell us about um, Rhiannon. Okay, so Rhiannon um, Cop Faulkner, Rhiannon Faulkner got in touch with me through either my LinkedIn or Facebook when we were first just sort of teasing everybody about having a show, Six right. Sense and Beyond. And she emailed and said, this is great, I greatly support you. Could you please like feature my book on your show? I can't be there because I'm in Wales. So I said, absolutely. And then I grabbed it from her and she I proceeded to me. read it and play with the cards. And she, she didn't even, I haven't even given it back. Right. And so. <laughs> Loved it. What, what we're hoping, and because th we've gotten so much international attention, that we're hoping that maybe in 2014 we have a, a psychic conference, yes. an international one, psychic and we bring fair. everybody. But we'll, we'll keep you clued in on that. But those are some of the things that we're Big doing. Big things planned, definitely. Right. Okay, and so why don't you go into, you read the book okay. and you played with the cards. So. I did, so what's unusual about to me about this, I, I've familiarized myself with quite a few tarot decks, um, and there's Doreen Virtues, angel cards, and fairy cards, and mermaid cards, and all these wonderful, um, nature being cards um, and then there's the regular writer tarot deck and there are all these many many tarot decks what's so unique to me about Rhiannon Faulkner's deck is first of all they're all channeled through her uh, by her through her by her spirit guide Brian who is this I'm gonna read I have to read you the description because I can't remember but it's it's, it's I, right I want to say it right okay Brian Copthorn is right. her spirit guide he's a foul-mouthed Irish dwarf and Rhiannon Faulkner's personal guide he pulls no punches. If you want to hear it like it is, this is definitely a book for you. And now he's got cards where you can pull um, tarot cards or give yourself a reading and get no-nonsense answers. Trust me. It's like, mm -hmm. you want to hear the truth, use these cards because if you don't like the right. answers, they're not So let me just fluffy. share also the other connection because nothing's by accident, of I believe. Not. I mean, that's we met and look, we have a show and I didn't <laughs> know who you were in this life a, right. for a long time until we just met. Right. But anyway, what's great about it is Rhiannon's husband passed away and it was so right. painful for her. Right. And he was also psychic as well. Mm -hmm. Right. And so this um, foul mouthed little dwarf, Irish dwarf, was channeling through him as well, right? No, I don't I don't think so because no? she talks about in the book he became he became Fond of Brian, the guy, because Brian was, it was like oh, a threesome. I see what you're they, they were always, Brian was always in, in the relationship. Like he would butt in and he would, she'd say, I have to go talk. Brian wants to talk. But right. this is real. This is for her. This is a very close connection to a spirit guide. That's right. an example of that. And so, but now, 
after the fact, she talks about in the book how um, her husband is in heaven with Brian. Right. And he's around and they've met and they talk and how Brian, um, not Brian, her husband, I forget his name, um, how he has managed to arrange a black Volvo to find its way to get in front of her anytime she's lost when she's oh, driving. Oh, that's amazing. He, Ryan helps him to m maneuver that. And that's what our loved ones do from the spirit world. They, right. will, they will get songs to us. They will get messages to that's us. Great. They will help us. So this is an example in the uh, book. Oh, and so what I was getting at is that my husband had passed away too. And she said, oh, well, I knew there was a connection. So it was really great. I mean, it's just, I just love it. I love it. It's and thanks for watching us because it's not by accident. You tuned in. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's do a little so reading. What are we going to learn today? Okay, so Christina, um, I want you to, uh, we're going to do a three card reading. Uh, for, here's what you do. You ask one question. Okay. And then you pick the card. And then you ask a question about the answer of that card. And you follow the next question. Okay, all right, card. okay. So my question is, oh boy. And All you right. guys at home can do this too. Yeah, you can think it. of a question in your mind and right. see if the cards I pull, because we can connect the, the energy all together like a vortex, and you guys can be thinking of your questions, and these cards will be for you as well. That's great. Okay. So I'm just going to say, is my daughter going to get into the college she wants to get into? Okay. Close your eyes and really breathe, and tune into the card that feels right for you. All right. So the, I'm, we're going to pick three cards on this question. So here's the first one. Okay. Do you want to read it? It says, have faith. Wow. Work at it. Give it all you've got. Miracles do happen, mate. Just trust. That would bode very well. That is. Yep. And then you can follow up that question if you want to, although that seems like a pretty beautiful, complete answer. But That was. Okay, so then I'll question. say, um, will my son, who is in college, yeah. will he have a really good final year? He's a senior. Okay. okay? So that's What's good. the energy around his final year at school? That's a good one. Okay. Okay, so let's do, I like this one right here. Okay. I just love doing this. Okay, so do you want, okay, need to look into this more deeply. Need to look into this more deeply. So this is a card that can sound like a challenge. It mm -hmm. says, hmm, no, things aren't as hoped for, so let's try and see what's at the bottom of this. Don't give up, but let's listen to what's going on around us. Okay, great. For that, you That's would pull good. another card to follow that. Okay, follow so that well, let's just theme. do one more. Okay, I'll pull this to one. To see what that card says about okay. that. Slow down and relax, will you? <laughs> nice and easy, easy and nice, chill out time. That's mom, chill out. Okay, I will. And stop being in such a rush. Everything is in good hands. Promise. Oh, that's great. So that to me, Christina says, he's going to have a, cha a year with some challenges, but to, you need to relax about it and don't send him worry vibes about oh, it. Oh, I won't. I won't. Because that's it great. might be a challenging year for you. Okay, so before we go on a break, we, we're going to try something new, all right? Okay, there's this card is, let's just put them in, in, okay. in order. Okay, so this is card, let's hold it right here, A, B, and C. So what we'd like you to do when we take the break is you just use your intuition, your psychic ability that we're hoping you're honing into your and sense. say, we're going to randomly pick one of these cards during the break yeah. and you're going to tell us, did we pick A, B, and C? It doesn't matter what you pick, but just tune in. And see which one you think we're going to pick. Right, and and isn't it, shouldn't it be their first choice? Like yes, comes whatever first comes to okay. your mind, so if that's when you a, think we're going to pick. A, B, or C, you could pick it right now because we don't know what we're going to pick, okay? Right. Okay, and we'll be right back. Let's make a selection. Welcome back to Sixth Sense and Beyond. You know how sometimes in life we all have the mundane issues that come up. Jobs, job security or love life questions, relationship, parent-child situations. And, and this is an opportunity in our show, Sixth Sense and Beyond, for some of the public, you guys, to call in and come up and have a reading with me on the air. And these brave ladies have come to have me uh, help them sort out some questions they have about the future of their particular work situation. They all work together. And um, so I'm just going to address some of the stuff that they're concerned about today. Okay? So you have all let me know that um, there's some changes going on in your work and you're concerned about the outcome for each of you. Will you be together? Will you be separated? All of that kind of stuff. So as I'm, I'm going to kind of go through, through one by one, I think is the most effective way to do it and tune into each energy and see what spirit gives me. Um, so this is Karen. And Karen, for you, I feel that um, you have a very grounded energy and a very um, organized um, ability about you. And I feel that 
the particular company you're talking about would like to continue to use you in those areas and they may put you in a more of an in charge position if you're not already there could be a, so I guess that would be called a promotion possibly or moving up for you um, I also feel that you well first of all you all have choice we always have free will right to do what we want um, but you will have you will feel more of a feeling I know that you're anxious now but more of a feeling of I have more choice here than I think about to stay or to move on and look for something else you're not gonna know right away that you want to change until um, you see how things are rolling under the new management but hang out for a little bit because you might actually be put into a place that um, serves you better for your skill and talents Okay, does that help answer what you were? Okay. And Christine, your question was more about um, in general your work, in general where it's heading. And I want to say to you, um, and I agree with, um, uh, there's energy around you that's very much a healer. And your work, I feel, will expand even farther than what you, you're in hospice work, is that right? And you're, I am. And you're a nurse. So that work, I feel, is going to expand into more directions, maybe hands-on healing, energy healing, maybe studying some more of the esoteric forms of, of healing work. And then it will be your choice also to, do you want to focus it particularly and stay in hospice care, or do you want to go further out, maybe even eventually have your own entrepreneurial business or private practice as a healer? And you may actually marry both. But you, there's a part of you that really is kind of tired of being under the thumb of an organization and a boss, and there's a big part of your spirit that is ready for expansion and would like to have more independence and more say in your schedule and um, your choice of who, what, where, when, and how. So that tells me that I think you're going to be moving in the next, um, within the next year to 18 months, a period of exploring expansion and more independence in your work. Step out of fear. Stay in love. Because when you come from your love of what you do, it will all unfold for you, and the universe will give you options and opportunities. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. And Beth, yeah. we know that you've already moved on. You've chosen to go into new ventures, and I know you're, you're concerned about all these peeps because yes. you've all been a team together, so you have built a real bond. You know, life is about change, and that's why we're here. We're here to grow and evolve, and the more we can roll with the change like the waves of the ocean, the more we get to receive um, the lessons and the blessings that come in those changes. Uh, for you, actually, you may not see it now, but this is right. Um, you're being called to step more into your power and mm -hmm. your knowledge of who you are and what you really know without having to feel um, like you have only this much you can say and you'll have more like this much that you can say in the new environment. And I, I Spirit wants to tell you that from the get-go, when you begin with this new um, company or environment you're in, you start from the beginning espousing who you are. Let them know. You lay out the groundwork for who you are. Don't let them tell you. Okay. You know, I mean, you can do it in a nice way. You don't have to go in there all, <laughs> you know, bold like that. But stand in your truth, your center, your power, at your priestess self, if you will, your knowing, mm -hmm. and it will emanate from you with clarity because that um, will ripple out through the environment and it will affect those who work around you and you're going to be put into a position of leadership. Thank you. <laughs> and this is Vicki. And Vicki, you are also wondering about the current um, company you're with and the changes that have happened and whether you're going to be staying. Is that right? Correct. I want to know if the team is going to get to stay together. Okay. Um, this whole team is already changing. That's going to be changing. That's what I, I'm being shown and feel. Um, but I feel that a couple of you will crisscross and still be working um, in and around each other for a time. Some are going to, by more choice, choose to move on. Um, I feel like you two may be more together for a bit longer. It's, you know, I can't say absolutely because prediction is really tricky. As I look at the energy, I can see the bond here, the energy. You guys, are, you're kind of in a flow together. You know each other's questions and answers silently, telepathic kind of thing. Um, I feel a stability with you, Vicki, that the company really likes, and I think they're going to hope that you stay in the position that you've been in. And um, they, they, I feel that they see growth for you in terms of your skill and ability. Um, you have a real strong, like you'd be somebody great in a crisis. You know, you're just, you're grounded, you know how to r manage the energy well, keep hysteria to a minimum. And also, I feel that you work very well with the families of the people that are um, in hospice. Is that right? I take the phone calls mm -hmm. if the families call in, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that would be the one who, yeah, puts out the fires or soothes them or knows how to speak the language. And you are just a beautiful light. You have gorgeous energy coming through your eyes. Um, 
I feel that you're an old soul, Donna, and that you've done this um, probably in other lifetimes. It feels to me like tribal energy, um, that you were probably the prayer person or the medicine woman of the tribe, and you have a deep centered energy about you that is very calming for the people that are um, that you're working with, the patients that you're with, as well as the families. And I feel for you that you will stay for a while because it's secure and stable, but you may also start to question, you know, your options in terms of um, the way that the, the place is being run. You may not like some of the changes. It's really, prediction is a funky business, guys, with psychics, because it, it, psychics have to be very careful not to, um, over influence people you have free will and your soul is on a journey and you get to make the choices that feel like you're answering your own heart and your own inner connection to your own guidance um, a reader like myself is here to kind of read the energy at the time of the question and show you your options okay do you have any questions for me we have a couple minutes about anything that I've said so far well, I, think, I don't know I think you hit it on the yeah. with a lot of us. Okay. So that was cool. The bottom line is, you know, spirit wants you to know, try not to fear, try not to go into fear and anxiety. We're human and we do that, but the more you can just trust that you're on your your yeah. guided path, you're on the path that you've chosen to do this work in the world, trust that spirit is going to put you for the highest good for your next steps in your evolution as healers, you know. It's beautiful work you're doing and it's very very important. It's sacred work. So I'm really honored to be able to read for you today. And thank, thank you so you. much thank for you. coming. And thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have something you'd like to have read on the air, you can write into sixcentsandbeyond.com and Christina or I will um, address it. Thank you. Let's make a connection. So, so connection. So welcome back. Now, Remember we gave you these cards, A, B, and C, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you picked, you had no idea which ones they were. Right. And so what did we pick? Okay, for those who picked A, this card, you were right on. Yep. So that's great. Intuition. And so don't go away with this segment because what we're going to do for our psychic tips is you're going to teach us all and me how mm -hmm. we can tune into our intu intuition right. and psychic ability. And we'll use the cards to do that. Yeah, okay? how to do that using a deck for that's yourself, great. which is a whole another interesting thing so before your and, and that that reading you did of the oh, wonderful yes, ladies, ladies the career that was, women that was really interesting because there were five of them on the couch yep. I think and um, every one of them they were all connected so their readings kind of affected each other yep I didn't even know if I mentioned that to them but I was seeing that and it was happening whether they knew it or not and some of them were going to stay on and some of them were going to be going into different things and right. it was just it was just wonderful to so anybody to see if you that. have a career change you're thinking about or if you've got a hobby you want to pick up oh, yeah. and they can come to you and they just ask your you'll Absolutely. be like a life call. coach call yeah a psychic phone. life coach psychic okay. life. so now we w we were talking about Rihanna um, Faulkner's mm -hmm. book and how she got in touch with me because um, she got in touch with me internationally she's from Wales yeah. and so she sent us these cards and then remind our remind our viewers again okay. about these cards so, so these cards are channeled through Rhiannon by her spirit guide Brian Copthorne who is a sassy little dwarf <laughs> and um, your spirit guides come in many forms you can have angelic kind of spirit guides around you you may have a doctor or a surgeon if you work in medicine you, there's all kinds of spirit guides her guide who speaks with her happens to be this little man and usually spirit guides are um, energies that have lived on the planet for a long period of time and they've sort of graduated to not having to come back mm -hmm. for a long long time um, for a time they're in spirit and they get to guide those of us that are having a life on earth so can I ask you something so if let's say like my father passed and he did mm -hmm. and so can he stay there if that was the contract he made with his higher self or um, probably maybe for a time mm -hmm. I think that with the soul's evolution and this is a whole nother discussion sure, it's sure. very philosophical and there are many different perspectives of it because there's something called karma right which we don't have a whole lot of control over but we're learning to how to have more control over that by what you sow is what you reap right um, the spiritualists believe that when you pass, you are given choice when to come back, if you want to come back to the planet or not. Um, but there's a whole, you know, bunch yeah. of different spiritual paths that say you don't have a choice. You go according to where your sure. consciousness is at the time of your death. So there's a lot to explore wow. there. Um, and but, we'll talk about karma at an, another. Oh yeah, city. we got to have my so, husband back on sometime to talk about he, the karma. He knows all about that. Stuff, oh, that's really. great. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's talk about the cards. So you want to get into it a little bit more? Okay. So this guide, what the what I loved about Rhiannon's book is she's a really 
really um, experienced psychic and channel and reader and very, very gifted. And she, like, like Brian says, it's no nonsense. He just tells it like it is. And this book, the opening of the book, one of the first things they say for the reader, you don't have to be a psychic to read this book. You can be curious mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. developing psychic ability, which is why I like to promote it on this show, because we are trying to promote that and right, teach right. you guys how to tune into your psychic sense. So right off the bat, he says, you don't need to meditate and study for you know years in Tibet. You don't need to, <laughs> you, how to tune into your spirit guides to simply get quiet and start to open up that, that sixth sense, your inner hearing, your inner seeing, your inner knowing. We all have it. So this is a, this is a psychic tip, because we're going to get into psychic tips. Yeah. So, so part of what you're talking about in reference to this, using this as a tool, mm -hmm. is truly t tuning in. So when, can we take a little example about the three? Let's pretend the three, we took the three. Well, let's, right. okay, yeah. And so what we had you do was pick which one we thought that Catherine would pick, and if you picked A, you got it. So right. let's say we're, we'll pick three more cards, okay? okay? So why don't you just actually give us a demonstration of how you of tune in? Tune in. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, you just got to tune okay, so in how let to me, pick the card? Or no, no, let me, let me just pick three cards. Okay. Okay, and then I'm, I'm going to show these cards to our viewers. Okay. Okay, again, I just picked these randomly. Oh, so okay. we have... We have, if you, if you, can, see, if you can see <laughs> the number here, we have 3, 13, and 8, okay? So we're going to call this A, B, and C. 3, okay. 13, and 8, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to shuffle these. Yep, and I'm just going to pick the one that I'm drawn to. Right, but could you... You've already picked one in your mind. I haven't done it. So you show them which one you're picking. You want me to pick it? Is that right? What you're doing? I'm going to pick one so you can see what I've picked. Okay, okay. I picked, and you have to see which one I'm drawn to. And, and tell us how you would tune. How okay. you just tuned into okay. what I picked. Okay, and uh, and also okay. if I don't get it right, I'm going to tell you what that means. Or okay, how to do, that's how to great. Deal with that. Okay. okay, so I'm going to. Okay, I'm picking this so you can all see it. I have to see it too because I haven't. Okay. Can I open my eyes yet? Not yet. <laughs> all right. Okay. So. We all know what I picked. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to shuffle the cards. I'm going to shuffle the cards. Do you do you shuffle them? Sure. Okay. I you just can them. feel into them. Okay. Tune in. So what did you just do when we were picking the cards? Um, I just closed my eyes so I wouldn't see. Now I'm starting to set my energy. I'm starting to just not think with my uh, intellect, but just to tune into the where I feel the energy or where it feels cool or heat under my hand. Um, it's like I hear I hear words in my mind and I just go with what I'm drawn to and I trust that. Mm -hmm. And I don't go, well, but I don't know, I might yeah, want this I one. I see that. Okay. So I'm just going to go to the card that I'm drawn to, and I think it's this one. Nope, it wasn't. Oh, nope, darn. it wasn't. But okay, then it's this one. Nope. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so even the experienced professional psychic can, cannot get the right answer. No, yeah. But here's what you do. What do you do? You look at the card that you did pick that you thought it was wrong. Which was the first one I picked? The first one you picked was the, the three. Okay. okay. Now, now what I would do if this happened to you at home, is I would want to know what the message was for what? me okay. in picking that wrong card. Turning a corner now. Sit down and think this through properly. You are finally pointing in the right direction, and now the worst is well behind you. Make sure you pay attention to detail and focus, will you? So for me personally, this means that I was not well enough focused when I tried to make that psychic hit. Huge, huge lesson because it's really important. When I have to read up here in five minutes on the air mm -hmm. and, and be right. accurate with my clients sure. because I've been doing this for 20 years, you have to be very focused and very oh, I'm grounded. Sorry, honey. And this, this game that we decided to I'm do, doing this, it. this show was very spontaneous. Okay, pick I it. was not prepared. Pick, so pick that it. shows you how when you're not grounded and, and collected, you can be off. I'm going to try it. Go ahead. Okay. You want me to just pick a card? Yeah, and then show it to the audience. Okay. Here's the one Christine is going to hopefully tune into. And I'm going to shuffle them, and she's going to shuffle them. Okay, but now show me the face, because for me, I'm just picking one, you know, randomly. Sh you don't, I don't know which okay. one you picked. Okay, everybody else knows what they picked, what you picked? Yeah. Okay, so. Nope. C, I've got to work in my. But you, it's really close your eyes and tune it. Yes. So I'm getting better. All right. So you know what? We have <laughs> to close. But see, in. this is how we're going to practice this. We'll do it. Thank you. Thank you to This Rihanna is a great Faulkner. book. If you can, if you can find oh, it on yes. the internet, and, can you? And the website will, is coming up as we spoke. Okay. Great. Thank you so much for watching Sixth Sense and Beyond. And opening, having fun with us. Yes, opening the spiritual world to the world. If you would like us an on-air psychic reading like Beth and her group did, then write to us at readings at 
sixcentsandbeyond.com. And then thanks um, for our sponsors, uh, Julio's and Christian Ray and Treasure Chest. And also watch my other show on Thursday yes. nights at 9.30, City Vibes Metro. And you can ca catch you on your website, katherineglass.com. That's right. Have a great, wonderful summer for all of us. Stay warm and cool at the same time if and you can. Dry. Yeah, and dry <laughs> and great. All right. So and when you see us, stop us, okay? All right. Blessings. Blessings. Let's make a selection.